Okay, here's something I just had to try. Uh, it just I caught my attention. And I just had to try it. This is a rock battery by John Bedini, and he's very familiar with crystals and minerals because he works with them as semiconductors. And he came up with this battery. This is iron pyrite. It's a semi-precious type of metal, also called fool's gold. And under there is a, this is a wet paper towel. Under that is a roll of this magnesium ribbon. And this is something you can buy on eBay. It's a, it's a roll of a magnesium ribbon. We used it in the plant batteries and other things. But there's a tremendous amount of surface area on that magnesium ribbon. And I think that's the main reason why this works. But the iron pyrite caught my attention. And uh, this is how what it's called, iron pyrite, or fool's gold. And you can get it at most rock shops. It's very common. But also, under that rock, you place a little crystal of calcium carbonate. And uh, this uh, damp rid, which you can get at, y at Lowe's, is composed of this calcium carbonate. And... Uh, or calcium chloride, it's not carbonate, it's calcium chloride, I'm sorry. And uh, the uh, reaction, the chemical reaction between the distilled water and the magnesium in that rock runs a pulse motor, and it runs it really, really good. And uh, you can't even see that running hardly. And then uh, that's the, the back spike uh, off of the pulse motor there too. Let me stop this here, slow it down. Yeah, this is uh, kind of what John Bedini uh, is working with, too, is these uh, little pulse motors. And uh, the uh, idea here is it's basically a monopole that uh, creates this uh, back spike. See that thing blinking there? Off of the collapsing feel of that coil, and you can charge something up with it. But uh, this little rock battery, I thought that was really, really neat, that thing there. And uh, so I just had to build one. Anyway, that's a pretty neat little thing you did there, John. I appreciate uh, you showing that to us. And uh, anyone who's got the time and a little bit of money, uh, the rock cost me six bucks at a local local rock store. You can probably get them a lot cheaper, but you can get them on eBay too. Magnesium ribbon was, I don't know, I guess about the same amount. But uh, it's going to eat that ribbon up pretty quick, so I'm not going to run this battery very long because that's what goes away is the magnesium ribbon. But anyway, that's John, John Bedini's rock battery, and uh, I'm Lid Motor. This is my replication on the 26th of January, 2011. Thanks, John, for sharing that with us. That's pretty cool.